It is good to see you again. Have you need of something? I am no merchant. At least my gold is going up so I can get the really expensive stuff that the uh, vendor in my camp sells. Uh, really good expensive stuff. Dalish armor. Now there's something interesting. Would that work for Zev? It would. That better? Yep, it is. It is better than the splint mail that you have.
It is good to see you again. Have you need of something? I am no merchant. Four gold. That is actually not too bad. That's not too shabby indeed. I wonder if I can treat your wound. You've done well. You're a good dog. <laughs> kind of the annoying thing is that I can't really... In Crete World Room, can I? The irony is, I named Coral after my pit bull, who uh, actually is crippled. He, well, before she died, obviously. Well, I think the obvious people don't. Oh, not everyone knows the story for anyway. Coral, our pit bull, um, eventually died due to old age, pretty much. But she, for several years, lived with um, basically no back legs due to a car uh, accident, a car incident. Greetings to thee once again. Thou hast not yet left the forest, then? No, I have not yet left the forest, then. There is still much I must do in the forest, my friend. Now he's even got me doing it!
GPS. All oh, right. Affected by the like a canthropy, so we randomly change into a werewolf. And I'm off. Thanks to mods. Your wish. All right. It's done. Ooh. How do we want to do this? We're going to end pretty soon, but how far in do we want to go? I wonder.
Ooh, something big is gonna happen. Auto saving. any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? We're talking right now, aren't we? So talk! Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Why doesn't this lady come and speak to me herself? We would not let her. We will protect our lady to our last breath. It may yet come to pass that you will kill the rest of us, but until then we will not chance her coming to harm. If you're willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Swiftrunner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Is your lady Witherfang? She is not Witherfang. But she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. But first, you must agree to parlay. How do I know you won't be walking I won't be walking into another ambush? What would be the point? You have already proven your strength. We have no wish to anger you further. Alright, fine. Take me to your lady. Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the fade itself to see you pay. Hey, you're the ones who've been attacking me all this time. I was willing to talk the very first moment one of you spoke. I must admit, I was expecting another werewolf. No, that I am not. If I could have revealed myself sooner, I would have. Do not listen to her, lady. She will betray you. We must attack her now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider, to set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. That is do we all, lady. Truer words were never spoken. But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. How do you know what he has or has not told me? Because there are things that he would not tell. Things that you should decide for yourself, whether you need to know. It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans live close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, 
The human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. And then Zathrin cursed them, I take it. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to me. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. So then why do you ambush the Dalish? For revenge? In part. We seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who are long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. We spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Kills the hell, kills after. I am not going to betray my own people. Why would Zoot? Why would he agree to come here alone? If Zathrian comes, I shall summon Witherfang. I possess that power. I also have the power to ensure Witherfang is never found. Tell Zathrian this. If he does not come, if he does not break the curse, he will never find Witherfang, and he will never cure his people. What if there is no way to break the curse? I believe there is. There must be. If there is no way, then he dies. Then they all die. Fine, I'll go to him, tell him this. And we shall await your return. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Is a saw sword. Meh.
and I'm off. Of course. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. I'm off. Hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. This a small glass philanthropy is it's conspicuously separate from the rest. Continue. There is a naturally cold, dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Take the vial. The last fractures of your touch. Continue. Ah, the revenant. Let's do have you do that. I am ready. Passage just outside of this room is open to you now, and it will lead you to the Go and return quickly. We are eager to see Zafria face to face.
going. Here you are already. Somehow I figured I'd find you here. Did you? Aren't you the intuitive one? There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. You mean you wanted to make sure I got the heart? Uh, we need to talk, you and I. Yes, yes, there will be plenty of time for that. Did you acquire the heart? I'd rather talk about our deal. No, I didn't. No. You didn't. May I ask then, why are you leaving the ruin? I had to bring you back to the Lady of the Forest. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? What is it you think she wants? To survive, I suspect. That is the common nature amongst all such creatures. The will to survive. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? I thought Witherfang was a male werewolf. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible. Serene and savage. Maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both. Two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. But the werewolves have regained their mind. I find that difficult to believe. They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Won't you at least consider talking to them? Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. You still have so much hatred after all this time. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elvin. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. Well, those crimes were committed centuries ago. I remember them as if it were yesterday. Even if they are more than animals now, they desire nothing but revenge. They will never let my plan be. And you can at least meet with them. That's what I propose. And what if it is revenge they want, and not talk? Will you safeguard me from harm? I will, unless you attack first. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. Ever the negotiator. I didn't even get persuade checks for that one. <laughs> so.
So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the Lady of the Forest! You will address her properly! You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathriel. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. He's talking right no, now. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit. As is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. And so he did. Witherfang and I are bound as one being. But such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian. But that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is not how it is! Just how far will you go for revenge, Zathrin? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <laughs> you see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way! And the curse of I have to force you myself! We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Seriously, Zatharin? Damn Can straight. I defeat you? Finish it. Kill him now. No! Don't kill him. Please, lady, stop him. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I... I cannot do it. Would you really let your clan die for this? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness 
where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you'll do it? You'll end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us... Let us put an end. gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. I do good work. Now time to time pay up. Time to pay up? What do you mean? I mean, you owe me an award. A good one. I have this shield if you want it. I found it here a very long time ago. You're welcome to it. That's perfectly fine. Thank you. We will never forget you. What does Swift Runner's shield look like? Eh, it's not too bad. Tier 4, Spell Resistance, Avoid Missile Attacks, Defense 4, I realize now that I, that probably means that I'm not going to get the help of the daily shells. I have the weirdest feeling like he's like I just missed like looting the corpse of the elder. Nope, there's no corpse there to loot. Apparently I still have a cancer phase, so that's kind of cool. So now I feel kind of sad for killing that elf wife because she would be cured now. Gets a different playthrough then, I guess. Apparently 
have a fight in the middle of the forest to deal with. All right, fine.
And like an idiot, I decided to go to the floor instead of the actual camp. It is done. The essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. He was a hero in the end, Lanara. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am Keeper now. Let me say it officially then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call and we shall come, with great speed and purpose. And we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. So, thank you. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war. But I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. I hope so too. Let us pray to the creators, Bethlehem. All Father, may you forgive our part in this world. Would our sons and daughters have died not for our God? Falandin, friend of the dead, may you guide our sons and daughters safely into the beyond. And most of all, he who hunts alone, the dread wolf. He will come for us in the end, but today, he turned a blind eye. And for that, we are thankful. For we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost lore, the walkers of the lonely path. And never again shall we submit. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I'd like to borrow I am no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. Like, says to talk to him. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Darth Shiro, may the creators visit fortune upon you. Do I have to like come back some other time or something? It's definitely something Master to talk Master Varathorn, we are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armor, Darth. Seventy gold, though. Seventy gold. Maybe I'll just come back a different time, see if that'll get it to work. How long were you in that cloister, my dear woman? Just over two years. 
Why do you ask? And and all the brothers and sisters there, they had taken vows? Most of them, yes. <laughs> For two years you had no contact with anyone but men and women who who are promised to some uncaring god? What are you getting at? Didn't you didn't you desire companionship during those two years? Two years? The very thought makes me weak. My time in the cloister was a time of contemplation. I occupied myself with thoughts of the Mako and other worthy pursuits. But like I said, most of the brothers and sisters had taken vows. Not all of them. Some were just affirmed, like me. Aha! That is not so bad then. Nothing happens, Ivran. It would not be right to engage in that behavior in the house devoted to the Maker. Why? The Maker made us who we are. He made our urges. He gave us these parts. You think he made them for looks? <laughs> it is fun getting the commentary from these people. Gather your party and venture forth. Apparently there's someone in the forest I need to give that to, but whatever. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Denerim would not be a good idea to go to. Soldier's Peak. Put some stuff into storage. Of the oak branch, or there might be something useful to give to one of my followers. This is just stuff I'm going to be equipping on people and whatnot. Gain Ozamar's aid. Orlais, Soldier's Pass. Where would be Ozamar?
near as I can tell, Ozmar's got to be over here because it's the only other place I haven't gone to, right? Morgan, always off on her own little section. Await your command. And wood smoke, just catching on the cover, mark out all three, strangely ominous in its stark appearance. Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Fine gift. You have my thanks. And there's where's Wynn. Oh, marvelous. can I do for you, Warden? Certainly.
down to seven ways. That's not actually too bad. What can I do for you, Warden? will be it where we will end it for today I'll figure out who I'm gonna take on my adventures as we head I guess west that's really the only other place left to go isn't it Really, Frostback Mountain is pretty much about the only place I can go. I guess so that I could go here. Roads really that's about it, I guess. Denerim. Denerim is a place I've got a lot of stuff to do. But of course that's going to be a major thing in it. That's really the thing is the Dwarven City. I can think it's probably go here to turn in a few quests at the Channery board. And then head to Orleas because really where else can I go? Can I go? There's only a, the only place left to go is there. I could check that out. I don't think I've checked that out. Or to Denerim. Well, I go to Denerim. That's going to be where our big fight is going to be, isn't it? I'm guessing next time I'll be heading to the Frostback Mountains. <laughs> yeah, I suppose we can at least travel. That's where we're gonna go. I'll go with Alistair. Yes. 
Yes. And we'll throw in wind this yes. time. And I guess we'll head to the village. And from the village, we'll head up to the mountains. That way I can turn in my stuff at the uh, channery, whatchamacallit, channery board. Are you all right? For a moment there, I thought I was... I thought it was all over. You need a rest, that's all. I... I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time.
That's neat. <laughs> Just told them to go all the way there. Let them auto path their way. Though stung with a hundred arrows, though suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong and he moved on. And after much sweat, blood, and toil, her labors ended. And the world marveled at what she wrought. Though stung with a hundred arrows, though suffering Seventy nine gold, how nice. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Yes, you had me quite worried. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. Uh, this case of death is taking a while to kick in, then. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. So you're alive. What's the problem? The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. 
and it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. How long will the spirit last? I do not know. I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. The plot thickens. And that is where we will end it for today. When we pick it back up, I'll probably talk to Wynn some more. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? You know, Alistair and me. It's hard not to notice the doe-eyed looks he gives you, especially when he thinks no one's watching. It's almost too sweet for my tastes, and I'm an old lady who should be making lace hearts and fuzzy blankets with animal motifs. So what are you going to say about us? I've noticed your blossoming relationship, and I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. Alistair is a fine lad, skilled in battle, but quite inexperienced when it comes to affairs of the heart. I would hate to see him get hurt. What about me? Not worried about me getting hurt? I am worried about you both. There is great potential for tragedy here. Love is ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? I don't want to have to make that choice. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. I'll consider what you have said. I am just trying to minimize the suffering that may come to either of you. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. Oh, Wynn. You crazy, crazy woman. All right, we'll save our game. I swear, I n every time I talk to Wynn, all he does is give me advice. I don't actually get conversations with her. It's kind of crazy. And Alistair cares about me. It's 71 approval. Zevrim is interested at 56. Lilia, 72, warm. Of course, Coral is always friendly to me. And when it's warm, Morgana is warm. Roland is neutral. Roland is a hard nut to crack. Stev is warm. Stan is warm. And I'm apparently myself. Right. See you next time, folks.